All right, this is Terry. Welcome to my channel, and this is the June update for 2021. And I'm starting in my kitchen since I have a lot of plants around the kitchen right now. And most of them are Phalaenopsis. Um, some of them are complex. Some of them are hybrid species. This is the Venosa that I just, no, the Polcra that I just got from Echogenera. This is the Tetraspis, no, yeah, it's a Tetraspis uh, coffee which is fragrant. This is the Queen Beer, and this is, well, it was Corninjana. And this is a, a uh, Phalaenopsis Bill's, I think it's Bill Zimmerman's mustache. And this over here is Coda Twinkle crossed with Phalaenopsis, I think it's Chiliana, Pulchuriana. Really nice long-lasting little miniature and that's what's in here well there's a latoria back there that's a finistiere i will not talk about that much that's for a later video but that is in my collection and i will continue on shortly all right and i'm back and i'm outside here and i'm just going to uh briefly show stuff that's in bloom i have to do some watering because it's about 90 degrees here and it is full sun and things are baking a lot you can see that is baking I need to move that in but right now I'm doing this video and I am getting some gross in action from some of these Prasavala hybrids over here that have been quiet a lot of these have been sprayed um, let's see here. Yeah, there's a David Sander there. There's my Marciana all waking up. There's a nice spike here on my Trichocentrum down here. This has never bloomed. This has started spiking in the winter. This is, didn't, no. Stel Curia. This is Trichocentrum Carthaginensis. And these are some of my other Trichocentrums here. There's a new growth here, and I'm sure that's sun. Um, and this is a Trichocentrum here. That's a Tigrina, a little Tigrina. And this is a Splendida. No, it's, yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, moving on over this way, this is the sort of podium that I just got. Um, the tag is here. This is a plant that I got last fall. That's the Sugita spots that did bloom, and there's two more new growths there. That's three growths coming up. Down below here, is my acreopsis here. I brought it out here to give it a little more light because I noticed that there was a spike right there that you can see. And then right here is a new acquisition that I got yesterday. This is an cyclia species that I got from Florida Sun Coast. It has a very faint, um, Perfumey. Yeah, it's more perfumey than floral scent. Here is my my Epi Green Hornet. And yeah, this really gets a lot of sun. This is my Maikai Times uh, Jalapa or Florida Lent, Florence Lynn that bloomed all winter. Has put up a few growths. Yeah, there's one right there, and there's a few over on the other side. Let's see here. Um, yeah, look at this. This is my Florence Lynn Times Anceps that bloomed, and it's got that new growth coming. This is my Golden Sunburst. 
It's got that growth, and then there's another right there. This is my Mark Jones times itself, and it's got two growths right there. Um, yeah, let's keep moving this way. This is my Tampensis, which isn't doing anything. This Acreopsis is probably getting too much heat. I am going to have to really water as soon as I get done with this. Okay, let's move on down here. That is my, I believe that's a Cucolata. Okay, I'm back. I, my camera, well, anyway, my phone went dead. I'm not sure where I left off, but I know I was here. But this Cucolata, which is on the mount, nice roots, next to that in particular patterns. Same thing on the mount. Some other Pasavlas there. Here's the Flagellars down here with the new growth. This could possibly turn into a spike there. I don't mess up that other trick ascension spike there that I've already shown you. There's my other trick ascension here that I got at Yoshi's. This is Lanceanum, I believe. And this is half of Lanceanum. Down here are the two BC Peach Bird that I put on their divisions. Um, the main plant is there in a basket, and these are mounted. This, I believe, is Marciana, the species, uh, Brasavala. Hoping to see that bloom soon. And some other, there's a trichocentrum there, that's Degrina. And then these are my Galeandras that have bloomed. This one and this one, this is Prostidia. No, that's left to say, it's got those new growths. a little growth coming out of there and then of course I've got some other mounts up here there's uh, Mark Jones times Flagellaris and this is I got from Spencer Aloysius it's the Nosmum and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these I got these from that so I really didn't want them those are some Ascocentrums and then these are my Equigenera orchids. I'm not going to talk about them too much. I'll put a link up. That's a Hibiki. And this is a Jamelia here. It's doing okay. As I come in, I won't skip the, skip this one. Maybe it'll, yeah, there's a little root down there. That is my tropical pointer, Cheetah. And over this way, there's some Opisavala hybrids here. Here is a uh, Grandiflora that's got a little growth coming up there. Um, this is, I got that from Bill Tom's Rustic Spots times Infolus, and I put it on that plaque, and you can see the roots are there. And this one here is another one that is on a mount. And this one is Venosa times Toshiyoki Pizzazz, which, you know, I love Toshiyoki Pizzazz. And this is my Cat Lid Chocolate Drop, which it came as this. It put up this new growth over the winter. It's still maturing, and it's also put up that growth. It's got roots coming out, and there's a root that's going through the hole there. Yay. This is my Encyclia Marii. With this spike here, I'm not sure if that's going to survive or not. It does not like this heat at all. Um, as we walk in here, to the left here is my, that is my golden wand, magic wand, BLC magic wand. Still got those flowers on it. And that's another little growth coming up. Here's my Ancachiae, which is a species. It's from, uh, it's from, uh, China and Asia, um, nice knobby stems, nice new, so, no, that's not a new growth, but there's more buds on the plant, it smells of, mm, like a musky honey scent, musky honey, 
In front here is another epidendrum. This is a reed stem. This is uh, my Wabash Valley uh, Sakura. And I'm hoping that this is going to spike for me. It did do well last year, but it's got new growths that are maturing as are these. This is one of my Florida stars here, Spring Zing. And you can see the roots there. There's, the, there's a growth there, there's another growth in there. And there may actually be another one. I think there's just two. This is another, this is a Powella Spots BLC. And up here, this is a BC uh, Fire Dance, Patricia. And it's got those two new growths there that are nice. And there's one right through there. That's a really nice color, uh, dark red, orange. Great for fall shows, <clears throat> long lasting flower. Actually, it blooms in the spring, I think. So it's good for spring shows because it comes up from the dried sheets and blooms in the spring, I believe, because it's got that Arantiaca in it. This is, I'm not sure what this is. I think this is a, I'm pretty sure this is a Nodosa Times. Um, Guarianthe, Borinjana, I think. And here are some more Catlea Versabilis that are on mounts. Um, and down here, this is a Little Stars, Little Division. Down there is my Ancelia Africana that bloomed earlier. And it's got a little growth coming up. These are some of my plants that were on top of the well, this was not. This is my cat layer error, error color that I just got from Equigenera. And you saw the video, I'm sure. I've already put the link up. It's got those three spikes. And I put it over here, moved it over here because it likes to, likes the heat and it likes the sun. And it's been a week, so it'll be okay. Um, down there is, let me see. That is a tr trichopilia there um some cat layers this is my lc sunset glory it's got those spikes that's a richard mueller and this is my bobo um magnum bobo boba phylum magnum i believe that's what it is magnum and i'm really i'm not seeing much as far as new growths coming up as Maybe it's just still getting used to this being on this mount. Um, it's been about a year. We'll see, fingers crossed. Um, as I move up, here is a cat layer that I've had for about, you know, it's been root mounted in this. I guess there's no date on it, but it was bare mounted in here before last fall, and you can see the roots are already onto the basket, and it's, the sheaths are filling up. Did show you the Kuwai red drop. I think that's a Bretonia cross. And I have up here my Florida Stars Elise. And it is got a lot of new growths. Then over here is my North Miami that has got a couple last flowers on it. it really has bloomed for me really nice. Um, over the the winter it bloomed really really nice and this is another this is my erosion bc erosion which is here's the tag here which is really nice as well this is walk rihanna across with glauca and this already has continued to put up growth so yeah um there's a couple of Latourius here. Species, that's Microphylla. This is uh, Spectabile. I want to point this out. This is my Sylvanacophia robusta. And it's got a new leaf coming up at the top. Back over here, there's a couple of Richard Mule hybrids. There's a sheath there. I think this is a uh, yeah, Copper Queen, and this one is Hawaiian something, Hawaiian Treat, and that's got a little sheath right in there. This is that Phalaenopsis Graciana that I got as an import, 
and it is a leafless it is a deciduous in the winter and it came with a couple of leaves that fell off but you can see if you can this will focus you can see it is putting up another leaf right there from the crown so yay 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 all right so let's move on over this way uh pretty quickly because i'm trying not to take too much time. This is my Hocoglossum that just finished blooming. Um, this is a Maikai that's got a little BC Maikai. This is a Julian Alonzo Roberts, which is Mark Jones Times Cordata. It's got a couple growths here that have matured this growth. And then there's this growth down here that's maturing really nicely. Um, that's a Trichoglottis Braciana or Trichoglottis uh, Bracteata. Both the name is Bracteata. This is a gift from Alonsius. <laughs> it's Aloysius. That is a uh, Beichi White Star. Yay. Thank you, Aloysius. So these are just more Brasavalas. There's a Tenebrosa cross with Yakai, um, which in my head has put up that new growth, and then I see that. Well, oh, that's part of the new growth. Uh, maybe that's the only one, but it's it's okay. Um, some of these other mounts are doing well. There's new growths uh, coming up there, and there's a new growth from there. Uh, this is another Florida Stars, I think. Yeah, Florida Star Spring Zing. That's got a new bud coming. This is my, this is a division of my Lelia Anceps. And there's a new growth there. Right next to it is a species. This looks like that spike is going to blast, but this is um, convolutin. And I think there's another spike there. Hopefully we'll see some flowers. That's really nice, long lasting. There are some new growths coming up. Behind here is my Encyclia Rufa. And there's a new growth coming up there. And let's see. Yeah, pretty much just a lot of Brasavalas that are putting up some growths. And this is my Aerides. Odorata that I put in the basket. Here's some buds on my, that's the Powellus box, BLC. My uh, Xylogeny Multiflora, there's a new growth. And I think there's another one somewhere. My Senile is waking up. As you look there, you can see there's green in there. And I believe there's maybe a root poking out in there. That's good. Okay, so um, these basophilas are doing the same as well. There's a sheath right there on that one. Um, this over here is my Miyaka stars. I think that's, or maybe that's a Pirardi. That's a Pirinii. This is my uh, Dendrobium cumulatum, cruminatum, and this is similar to that uh, Den Hancockii where it is triggered by the change in the barometric pressure and storms that are coming. And from where these nodes are, it will suddenly produce flower spikes from those nodes. You can see they're kind of waking up a little bit. I don't know if there's a storm coming. There should be. I hope so. Um, did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything over here. Let's go on in. The greenhouse briefly stopping here at Dendrobium Discolor, which has two new growths there. And this is my Dendendi, which has that growth. We need to see another growth. And this Trichoglottis Orchidea. There's the tag. And it is just blooming its head off 
it has been blooming for a while, long lasting little blooms. There is no fragrant fragrance, but it is starting to put up more. You can see those little nubbins coming down. And on this one, on this cane, you can see them there and down here. Those are gonna be flowers. All right, that's my Vanda. Uh, what's the favorite one? I don't think that's the tag. That is not the tag. I don't know what I was doing there. That's not the tag. That is. That should be a uh, whatever the cross with uh, that I can't find the Vanda that I want, which is uh, Bill Tom's did the Vanda. Uh, it's called uh, uh, Cindy Banks, and it is half Tessalata, half. Uh, this so you can tell me what it is this is my gingerobium wrote a stick done that's on the cool log and i moved it from outside inside uh, just because i didn't i wanted to give it a little more shade uh, these are just some other dens that are waking up some phalaenopsis den fell over here is a surprise this is my uh, dendrobium secundum that I was talked into buying and lo and behold it is putting up a couple spikes and it really just spiked over the Christmas that was a fluke I'm gonna get more flowers on that kind of labium there and also the same secret holds true for this species which is of course another bucket list plant this is my den Schwetzii which took me years to be able to grow and rebloom and now I finally have there's another spike on it, and I'm about to knock out a spike if I don't move. And then there's another little spike that's coming up there. And the secret that I've found is that it's sitting in water mostly constantly. I, I, I dump it out occasionally, and the same goes for this. I'm not gonna lift that up, but you can, there's water in there a little bit. Um, this flower is really pretty fragrant. Um, Waiting on that Maxillaria, that's the dark one I got from Yoshi to do something. Uh, did I say my Conilibium? I did. This flower is really beautiful, this Phalaenopsis. It's really putting out the blooms in just sequential fashion. There's another spike up there that I almost destroyed. There's my Joy Stewart that just finished blooming very nice for me. There's that spike looking really nice that has the buds. That is my Yamadara Killian Queen Adelia times Randii. And I almost knocked this off, which I can't because it's beautiful. And there's a little bit of a fragrance as well, kind of grape. And that is Fal Philo Sophia Peter's Pride. Anything else happening down here? These are some Gongoras that I got. This is one I got from Kelly, and it's got two new growths. That's Gongora chacoensis, one of my favorites. Um, this is another Gongora that's got a little growth going. This is uh, Gongora histrionica. Um, there's a little maxillary back here. Uh, turning around this way, really not much. Some Phalaenopsis. Um, yeah, this is my Maxillaria. I think this is Maui Coconut. Yeah, that is recovering over here nicely. He's finally starting to get some growth. Uh, moving down here into the Phalaenopsis area, here is uh, Sumatrana, I believe. Yeah, that's a species. This little cute thing here, which is a cross. Uh, 
I think it's Doritos Puturima maybe crossed with a uh, Phalaenopsis uh, minus. There's a nice another spike here on this. This has uh, got some Gigantea in that cross. Uh, there's a nice new leaf and root there. This is a nice Phalaenopsis that I got from Nance. There's a tag right there, the Doritas. Um, they have more blooms on. That's my Amabilis, Phalaenopsis Amabilis. But the majority of my Phalaenopsis are looking very nice nowadays. Um, new leaf, roots. Nice leaf there. Um, this one kind of looks sad. It's my hieroglyphicas up there that just bloomed. Moving over this way, this is my Dimorphocus loei, which is getting a new leaf, which you can see in the corner there. And those are my little Anrichis. This is where my foul. Gigantia sits, as I just pointed out, those, the ends of the spike look like they want to bloom. As we move on down here, this is my, my Papia Pedalum Philippinens, with another flower that's slowly opening. This is a species. Nice twisted petals. Um, and over, over here, this is my Corn Servais, Foul Corn Servais. I won't spend too much time on those. I just did that video yesterday, perhaps. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Let me go back over this way. And I can't skip my orchid of the day today. This is uh, Catmea Ludiola. Just opened up from the dried sheet that it carried all winter. It's a species from Brazil. Light, pleasant fragrance. This is my den uh, tortilla, which is potted up and it's got new growths coming. Uh, no flowers yet, little nubbins on the canes, but we'll, I don't think those are gonna be any flower spikes. I am not looking as, as them like they will be. Um, this here is my Bobo uh, cornutum, and it's got several growths from the base. Some of these could be flower spikes, but it's pretty young. Behind here, I have my Epidendrum nocturnum. It still has that bud there. And I've got lots of spikes happening on a lot of these boba phylums. And you saw the video that I did, so I won't go over that anyway. I did the top shelf video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I went over that whole top shelf. Um, down here is Karen Lewis, which is Bobophyllum Karen Lewis, which is Bobophyllum echinolabium crossed with uh, Bobophyllum uh, phalaenopsis is what it is. Echinolabium times Bobophyllum phalaenopsis. And it is fairly stinky. Not the stinkiest, but it is typical of stinky bobos. Here is my Rangus grandiflora here. No, it's not a Rangus, it's a Ranthes. And I don't know what that is. That could be a little nubbin or a spike. These are my Bill Toms, my other Bill Toms, because this is a Bill Toms cross. Um, in here, it looks like some are giving me some new growths. Um, there's my Bobo Frosty Eye there. You know, all of those from Bill Toms. This is a, uh, it's a, it's a pescatoria, but it's Belia. They like to be moist. Here's my Stanhopia, uh, Rinkenbachiana that I got. Um, here's a Rodrigetza decora that stays wet in that. And it's put up a new growth in there. Um, <coughs> here's my Maxillaria tenifolia. This is the melon watermelon one that I got. And you can see why it's so, it matured its growth really beautifully. And, and, uh, and in some cases it's hard to put up new growth. So I really haven't seen any spikes yet. I'm really hoping so. These are my other regular tenifolias. This is my maxillary tenifolia right here, the regular one. And there's my aria that has matured its growth, but also no flowers, fingers crossed. 
This is my Toshiyoki Pizzazz. Still waiting to see if some growths are gonna happen soon, new growths. Getting some new growths on some of these plants here. My Path Julius still holding those blooms just beautifully. Seems like it's been a month or so, but it's a big, big plant. Um, behind that, not open so long, is Phalaenopsis uh, Shinyi Formosa. And I hope you are hearing me because I do not have a mic. It went dead. So I'm doing this and maybe I'll have to dub this over if you can't hear me, if I can't hear myself when I go over it. But chances are I probably won't and just say forget it. But I hope you do regardless. Um, but yeah, that is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Really hoping to see this wake up. This is my Epidend Epidendrum ciliare. Epidendrum Sean Berkey is right here in front that bloomed over the fall and it's put up two new growths. Um, I have some Phalaenopsis, no, Paps back there. There's a Venustum that's there. Um, I have my Charles Worthy eye, which is there. Um, nice growths, nice fans. Big next to the left here. This is my BLC uh, Momilani Sunset or rainbow, I think it's rainbow. And it's got five or six new growths coming up. That's a very floriferous plant. Very, very floriferous. It just continues to bloom and I'm hoping that this continues to bloom well for me. Very fragrant as well. Here's a bobo here. That isn't the most fragrant or funky. It's a mix of maybe funk and as I said, uh, what did I say? Jelly bellies. Over here are some Laturias and some Epis. This is my Joyce Kelly, which is a Superbum. No, it's it's Spectabile crossed with a, a Johnsonii. And I think it's it, uh, it has been trying to put up spikes all winter that are just trying there. But it has matured its new growths really nicely. Um, I have some paths here, some more Laturias that are back here. I think that's Fire Wings, and this is Roy Tokanaga. One last flower. In front here are some Epidendrums. This Epidendrum is in Spike. And these two, I believe, are the same. No, this one and this one is the same, but this one has a Spike which is up here. And this plant is Pseudoepidendrum times Florbunda. Now this one next to it also has a spike. Let me see if this is the same. Polyanthem, Pseudoepidendrum times Polyanthem. And Polyanthem is right here to the left, the species. And it also has a spike right there. And it has a couple of spikes already forming. That is polyanthum. It is orange cascading cluster blooms in the summer, very fragrant. Hence the name polyanthum. Okay, up there is my struggling uh, uh, and great gum to stitch them. I just ignore it. That is Rangus. Uh, Kachkiana. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what that looks like. Well, that's just a leaf, but there's a flower spike right there. Um, down below here, I've got some Phalaenopsis that are fragrant. This is my Chiling Queen, Happy Queen, which is, they're getting some water. These like warm water. Very fragrant, and this is my Falsamera. I think that's Falsamera Alba. No, it's Falsamera Blue, that's what it is. Down here is my Uriangis, mm, Victoria Now, and there's that spike right there. Coming down this way, just newly opened, maybe a couple of days, this is Pathia Pedalum Gira Romagna. And I am not sure what the cross is. I think it's Lady Isabel times Roth Julianum, maybe, but I'm not sure. Um, it's something like that. It's gotta be something based on Stonii. 
although it could be uh, it could be Prince Edward of York or it could be one of the other ones uh, Saint Swithin here is Stony Eye speaking of the devil which is a species from Borneo hangs on the side of limestone cliffs very wonky very slow growing very attractive I love it I love it who wouldn't love it what else is happening? Is there anything going on down this way? Just some cat layers that got a few growths. There's a nice growth here on the Jalapa times Nodosa cross. Um, this is my Fuchs orange that has a few new growths that are coming up, yay. And I've got some Clandy eyes here. This is a lemon drop, lemon dance, a Clandy eye. And here is a Dan Jovium cross that is convolute sometimes. Uh, by Loculare. And as I turn around this way, I'm almost done, folks. And I'm going to the Prostechia Encyclia Epidendrum. And here is Livida, Prostechia Livida. A really nice, shy flower. It has bloomed for me before, bloomed for me last winter into the spring. Never as much as it has now, and never as strong erect standing up high on the spike usually the spikes are very thinly wired and weak and you barely catch the flowers if you do at all but I'm not being this to focus but it is a nice thing um, behind here is a encyclic cross that is not fragrant which it should be this is orchid profuse pro orchid profusion and it's roughly profuse, which is fragrant, crossed with orchid jungle, which is fragrant, so I don't get it. These are my, um, I think these are my selogenies. Not this one, but this is one of my, I shouldn't even show that because Jerry's going to kill me. But I don't care. Um, anyway, I'm just rambling on here. But there's some yellow birds giving me a second flush of flowers. It already bloomed for me once really nicely. And there's another spike over here. And then there's one over there. Nice. And these uh, barkerias are waking up. I need to move them into more shade now. They like full sun in the summer, in the winter, more shade in the in the summer while they're growing. Whereas in the winter, they're dormant when they're putting up their spikes and blooming. This is in Cyclia standard no, nursery rhyme that has a very nice fragrance to it, very musky. And I'm nice, happy to see that new growth there. That's my, uh, that just bloomed my uh, Sunny Delight. Over this way, this is Encyclia bellazensis that is putting up the buds as well as there is a roughly profuse over here. This is Epidendrum Parkinsonianum, Colostylus. It's from Mexico, Central America species. Uh, big, big flower, long lasting. There is a slight fragrance, but in only certain parts of the day, I haven't really smelled it much at all, but I did smell it uh, early one morning and it was sweet, but it was soft. Here is my Encyclia Lata that's about to pop. Many, many uh, branching spikes that are just going up, up, up. This is uh, another Encyclia Cross. This is Standard Setter Cross with Incurvata. And this is really nice. This is my Miss Mahler, Catlea Miss Mahler. And you can see this is the former growth. This is the new growth. Much bigger. But to give you an idea of Miss Mahler, this is a dead Miss Mahler right here. So, if you want an accurate dis display, this is probably has to go up to here in order for it to bloom but it's getting there it's getting there it's time for this to go outside but for now it's in here I just wanted to show you that doing so well growing so nicely while I'm back over this way I'm gonna take a peek over here at Encyclia Diurna that has been in bloom for quite a while very fragrant very fragrant. Not so much now, but in the morning, it's it's the one that you smell the most. 
And that really is everything that's in this greenhouse. But I wanna show you that growth over there because that's a nice growth as well. As you can see how big it is, as opposed to the former growth, the uh, smaller growth. That is a Gitata times Forpsii. Gitata times Forpsii. So that should be getting to be close to bloom size, hopefully. Nice. All right, I'm looking forward to that Belizensis spikes. That should be, or this, the blooms, I'm sorry. They, that should be fragrant. So let's step out here for a minute and finish up. I have these plants out here are going to be the next to get scale. As you can see, they're on here. And it's just been just too hot to get them. These are Orantiacas. Um, that's my um, Bactia grape wax. And there's another one down there. And there's some Encyclias here. This is an Orsteti, um, uh, Orsteti something. Can't remember it's a species though. Colostylus. And here is my uh, Docrilla Shuanina. And I believe that it is about to put up some blooms. If I can find where I think are gonna be blooms. I think that's gonna be a bloom. That's gonna be a bloom. And these are just the start, as I see, because it usually begins when their new growths are starting. Let me see if I can point out one more before I move on and start up this video. Yeah, there's one right there. Okay, so other things that are out here, there's my pendulum, my dendrogen pendulum that didn't bloom for me, but there's a new growth. I really need to move that on the other side to give it a little more shade. And over here is another barcaria. Uh, that's my Skinner eye cross that has got those new growths. This is good here because it gets morning sun and afternoon shade. There's another Ramon Nosman that I got. And down here are the other two crosses, the other two divisions of my Lelia Anceps. And there's a Cymbidium that I have that uh, I don't really care about. But that is my update, folks, for June 2021 in my orchid greenhouse my orchid collection if you've enjoyed this video please press the like button and subscribe to my channel because um, i put out videos every day just like this and more but thanks for watching everyone see you next month or see you tomorrow enjoy your orchids bye